all carbon with the same red accents. Would you go with a um Oh wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Um see we have um, different types of carbon fiber also. Mm -hmm. Um so this is what we call the black carbon fiber mm -hmm. and this is gray. And yeah, in the gray, of course, yeah. you see the structure. Yeah, better, I like right? this better. My yeah. Mansuri Bugatti is very similar to yeah. this. So, that's, so is that's, this the same one? That's, yeah, that's my choice here. And so, let's have a look. Let's get it. That would, that would be good to know <laughs> before you. Hey, where does the key go? Tim, where does the key go? Oh, did that change it? Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no keyhole anymore. What? The key has to be inside the car. No way. Yeah, so just put the foot on the brake, oh. right? And see so it says lights up the engine. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Okay, hit it. Hold it down. the Chiron in Malibu. So unfortunately they only took the speed key away. Huge calibers. So I'm gonna have to manage those. Yeah. I can't wait for this car. This will be an epic addition to my car collection. Today is the day! Oh my God, four years away, this year. Can't wait to unbox this beautiful piece of machine. This is absolutely bonkers. Wow, wow, wow. Pictures do not do it justice. I mean, I'm blown away. This paint in the sun, wow. Unbelievable. Look at that rear. Guys, this is by far the most beautiful automobile I've seen. And I've seen a lot of cars. This is crazy. Good mother Jesus. Guys, I'm so excited and I can't hide it. But first, let me get rid of these boxes so we can do a better preview. It's time to go for a quick joyride. I've been waiting four years for this. Whoa, hopefully I won't stain the seats. Engine. What I love with the Chiron, you don't have to put the key in. It's keyless. Ciao. Wow. 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 This is too good to be true. I don't even want to drive it. It's so beautiful. I don't want to push it. Oh my God. This thing is absolutely crazy. Thank you, God. Thank you, Bugatti, and thank you, Hermes. 
This is officially my number one car in the fleet. Oh my God. I didn't sleep all night last night because I knew I'm gonna see the car this morning. And I don't think I can sleep all night tonight because I wanna drive it the next day. Oh my god, if this is not orgasmic, I don't know what is. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay, I don't want to spoil it too much for one day. <sighs> Plus, I don't think I can take it anymore. I need to go calm down and do a drive later. It's just too much excitement all at once. So stay and look out for the in-depth video that's about to come out. And remember, you can see this beautiful Bugatti in person January 4th. Look out for my Instagram for updates. Wow. 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 All right, guys. I need to go calm down. I got a little bit too much excitement today. But make sure you subscribe and like my videos. And I'm going to have some cool videos coming out of this car. You see my cars, my houses, and you always ask me, how do I make the money and how do I get here? If you haven't read my two books, Contrarian Playbook and Driven, please do so. I share my journey in detail and also my success and struggles. So great books to read. And my story is simple. I came here at 14, getting away from the war in Iran. My dad had a job plan. When we got here, it fell apart. We were forced to live in a car, so literally we were homeless. At age 14, I was literally dumpster diving to make ends meet, picking up things people left by the dumpsters and taking them to a swap meet to sell them for anything I could and trying to help my parents. My first job, however, was Kmart, collecting shopping carts, mopping the floors, and I was clerk 407. They gave me all the dirty work. And that was another learning curve, and I learned a lot. And after one year, I was able to raise enough money to buy my first car, which was better than my dad's car. So I always had passion for cars, as you can tell. But after a year, I realized I'm never gonna be wealthy working for somebody else. So I decided to go and become my own boss. I didn't know what to do, so I started with selling peanuts door to door. And I did that for six months. I failed because I didn't have a health permit but I saved $20,000 in that six months selling peanuts door to door. And I went off to buy a gas station. And unfortunately, it got scammed. I lost all my money. After that, I worked for Rent Cent Hire for a few months, saved money again, and I went and opened the supermarket. After a year, I failed. So one day, I'm sitting in court dealing with all the crap, you know, creditors and people I owed money to when I owned the supermarket. And my landlord pulled me to the side and said, you remind me of me when I was in my teenage years. Came to Orange County with no money and I started with one small tiny building in real estate. And somehow he had amassed $700 million in real estate holdings. And that's when I had the aha moment. I need to figure out my way of building wealth in commercial real estate. Flash forward 28 years later, I'm a landlord. I've been able to amass Every car that I dreamed of, over $30 million worth of cars, $33 million mansion at Pelican Hill. More importantly, I've been able to give back to my kids the life that I never had and my parents for all their struggles. I retired them many years ago buying them a ranch. They're living their dreams and give back to charity. That means a lot to me. I have recently pledged a million dollars to the Autism Center at Chalk Foundation. I'm super proud to be able to give back to many kids and many families. So another one of my passions is mentorship, which is why I'm excited to share with you today. A lot of my success has been through trial and errors. Over the past 28 years, had I had a mentor early on, I would have saved a lot of money and lots of time and avoid a lot of pitfalls. So lucky for you, I'm giving you the opportunity to be mentored by me.
I created something I wish I had when I got started. We call it Manny Koshman's Millionaire Mentorship. 